It is a it, 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 it is a, a, a privilege and also a celebration in heaven whenever one soul comes to Jesus Christ. So I imagine when two souls come that it is a party up in heaven. So we are going to call them to come forward. Brother Carlos and Sister Abigail. They have been studying with us uh, in our Bible study over the past several months. And um, we are elated that they have made the decision on their own that they want to be baptized and become a member of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And so today, um, we have already gone through those, um, those, those vows, Carlos. And what I love about them is they ask a lot of questions. And when they ask a lot of questions, you have to go into the Word of God and provide the answers. And then they made their decision. So I'm glad to have them. And so we are going to go through, I'm just going to ask you three um, questions for which you are um, going to respond, I do. And, and these three will cover all the 14 that we went through. So number one says, do you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, and do you desire to live your life in a saving relationship with him? I do. Amen. Do you accept the teachings of the Bible as expressed in the statement of fundamental beliefs of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and do you pledge by God's grace to live your life in harmony with these teachings? I do. I do. Amen. Do you desire to be baptized as a public expression of your belief in Jesus Christ? Do you accept into the fellowship of the Seventh-day Adventist Church and to, be, and to support the church and its mission as a faithful steward by your personal influence, tithes, offerings, and a life of service? I do. You have heard that they have consented to all these, um, these uh, beliefs of our fundamental beliefs of our church. And upon their baptism, we are going to accept them as members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Happy Sabbath, church. Aren't we excited today? Yeah. At this time, I'm going to ask for a motion that we accept Carlos and Abigail as part of the Tabernacle Seventh-day Adventist Church and, of course, the World Church, subject to baptism. Amen. Is it so moved? Is there a second? Amen. All those in favor, can you say amen? Amen. And there is none who declines. Amen. Amen. At this time, our first elder, Elder English, is going to have a word of prayer uh, for Carlos and Abigail. Let us pray. Heaven rejoices when even one finds themselves in the arms of our loving Savior, Jesus Christ. Just like the shepherd who would leave 99 to go to, to search for one, just like the, 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 the woman who was on bended knee looking for that one lost coin, God, Jesus, searches for and accepts those that come home to him. So, Father, today we rejoice, and we know that heaven rejoices today with the uh, public uh, declaration of their faith today with Carlos and Abigail. We pray, Father God, God to today, that the Holy Spirit will rest heavy on them. That because of this public declaration, the devil will rear up, we know, his, his fiery darts against them. So we ask right now that you encircle them in, in, in angels to protect them from these fiery darts. We ask that you will protect their minds from people that will seek to distract them from this path that they have taken. We ask that you will just give them the strength and fortitude, the boldness of David and Daniel to remain steadfast in this faith that they have chosen here today. So, Father, we ask for all these blessings, and we pray that ultimately when you come again, when the clouds burst open, that we'll all find ourselves holding hands in hand, hand in hand with Carlos and Abigail waiting to uh, make it into that kingdom. This is my prayer in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 It is always a blessing to have individuals who choose to give their life to Jesus. Amen. Amen. And 
at this time, we're going to have a word of prayer over this baptism as they give their life. Father in heaven, Lord, we're thankful again for Abby and also Carlos, who have chosen to give their life to you completely through baptism. We ask, O oh God, that their walk with you will never grow stale, that you'll continue to keep them, O oh God. And as they go down in the water, may all of their sins be symbolically removed and be able to come back up knowing that they're a newborn babe in Christ. And we thank you for continuing to be with them. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I've asked Abigail if she would like to share a few words. And uh, Abby, the mic is yours. At this time, I'm going to invite those who would like to support uh, Abigail and Carlos in their walk. Uh, Carlos, please come on up. Come on. If you would like to support Carlos and Abigail in their walk with God, as a church family, I'm going to invite you all to please stand at this time. And for those who would like to take pictures or, or you know, allow for them to see you a little bit closer, please feel free to come forward. Come all the way up front so that they can see you. You can snap every moment of it because they want to remember it. Sister Abigail, because of your love for Jesus Christ and your desire to serve him and make him your Lord and Savior, as a minister of the gospel, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And the entire church says... if there's anything you'd like to share. He says, I'm good. I'm ready. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Carlos has come a long way. Amen. And today, family, I can tell you that God is not finished with Carlos yet. Amen. I beg of you all to please continue to support this man. Amen. He has a family. He has a little one named Charlie who's a handful right there. Amen. And God brought them to this church. I remember the first time I met them. And many of you do too. So please, as a church family, support them. You know one thing I want to mention just before he goes down in this water? He's growing in Christ. And I know that sometimes we expect for individuals to be on this plane without giving them time to grow. But I must admonish each and every one here under the sound of my voice and those listening online. We must give individuals a chance to grow. We all are not where we, we used to be. God brought us a mighty long way. So allow for individuals to get to know Christ, to grow in Christ. And be sure, one of these days, God is going to have him here. You'll probably be an elder and deacon. I don't know what God has in store, but I know that he brought you a mighty long way. So today, because Jesus Christ loves you and called you from an old life into this new life in him, as a minister of the gospel, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Be faithful until Jesus returns, my brother. And the church says, Amen. Amen. I'm sure you all know that we can't just step out of the pool. Elder Dorsey and I, we've been in this pool. 
and we know that the water is nice. <laughs> but I'm saying all of this to let you all know that if you have not yet made a decision or you have been thinking about a decision to come back to Christ, meaning that, you know what, I was out there, I was doing whatever I wanted to do, but now is the time I need to make my decision sure. This is about a decision you need to make. And there is still water. Before the end of the service, let us know. We'll come back into water because we don't want you to miss this opportunity. And I know that's on this Children's Day. Please take time to give your life to Christ. We can always schedule another baptism, but we have water already. So if you desire to be baptized, this is the moment. And so we can make it happen today. Amen? Amen. Father, we just want to thank you for all that you have done. We thank you for the life of, of Abigail and Carlos and for what you're doing in, in and through them. And we ask, oh God, that those who are hearing our voices right now, oh God, that, that even now that you will impress upon their heart to give their life to you completely. There are some that you have brought here who need to rededicate their life to you. And I pray, oh God, that they will make that, that, that decision today and will not put it off for another day, another time, but allow for you to lead in their life. And we thank you for all that you're doing even through this service right now. This we pray in Jesus' name. Let all of God's people say, amen, amen, amen. amen.